previously I installed the world's smallest ram pump and it used a 3 8 inch drive pipe. It didn't work and it was a unanimous decision that the friction loss of a 3 8 inch drive pipe was basically not allowing enough flow to hit this check valve and it wouldn't cycle. And so I'm going to hook up a half inch drive pipe to this pump and see if that will allow the check valve to cycle. Now I know for efficiency, you want to have the same size drive pipe as check valve, and that's so that the pressure wave going to the pump is the same going away from the pump, and it keeps things consistent. But in this case, the efficiency is zero if uh, it doesn't work at all. So let's hook up this half inch drive pipe and see how well this works. To get a nice and consistent source of water, I'm going to set the drive pipe here into the flume and then I'm just going to simply put a couple of rocks on top to hold it into place and that should make a really nice intake. To start the siphon I'm going to put the uh, drive pipe into the flume, let it build up some water and then keep sinking that down. And when I drop it here in a minute, it should pick up some pretty good siphon. I'm gonna drop the hose and see if it pulls the siphon. Okay, I pulled the siphon the good old fashioned way. Let's see what we get here. So I'm just gonna tighten this up enough to get it on here. There we go. Okay, nice. I'm gonna close the delivery pipe because there's not enough back pressure to keep this going, but we can see if this valve is going to close with this volume of water. Okay. Hey, hey, hey look at that. This increased volume seems to be doing the job now. Really clicking along. Impressive. I'm gonna open up the delivery pipe and see what kind of pressure we've got in here. Nice, pretty good. Well, that means it's time to get a longer delivery pipe and see how high up a hill I can go with this. Cause that is definitely popping the check valve really well. I just ran the delivery pipe about 10 feet above the source and we're operating on somewhere around I would say four foot of head. So it's uh, not quite the one to seven ratio that I'm looking for, but let's give it a try. That's a good sign, it's working here. Let's take a look at the delivery pipe. Check it out. So as you can see, that is up the hill from the flume here, about 10 feet or so, which means the tiny 3 8 inch ram pump with a half inch drive pipe is able to operate and push water uphill very well. I'm gonna leave this little pump here and let it do its thing and uh, come back later and we'll test out the uh, flow rate and uh, what we're getting up top here and do some uh, more calculations. But I am super excited that we got the world's smallest ram pump to work. Thank you so much if you were part of the uh, first video and determining that we just needed a larger drive pipe. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House. If you'd like to purchase your own ram pump, I have sizes half inch, three quarter inch, one inch, and one and a quarter at landahouse.com. I'll see you next time. Bye.